my sister, who, you know, works in Hollywood as part of reality TV, and I mean, high up in the ranks and stuff, you know, she's run a couple networks and stuff. She's in town visiting with her husband and her two kids. And her daughter, Elle, is a Swifty, hardcore Swifty. My sons are very much into hip hop. And we were at dinner last night. And we get in the car and my son, Dutch, he's always, always like put on, you know, takes has his phone take over the Bluetooth in the car and always play music, right? And he's listening. He, he puts on uh, Kanye's college dropout. And he's like, listen to this, Uncle Mike. Listen to this. Right? And, and, and it gets into this discussion, first of all, about the new Kardashian show, which I think debuts today Correct. on Hulu, right? And my sister is like, ta- starts talking about the show. And my sister, who's in that world, says, you guys don't understand. Everything on that show is set up. And I'm like, Pete Davidson, she goes, that's not real. Is what she says, right? So I'm like, okay, this is interesting. So it makes me want to watch. She's like, she says, you guys have no idea how manipulated we are by what's going on with the Kardashian show. How none of that is 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 at all legit. Okay, now that's so stated. That's not what I want to get into. That's just something she says. It turns into in my car between my sister's family and my family this insane argument about who is better who is more successful kanye west or taylor swift okay and it gets so ugly and arguing to between between first it starts off with my niece and my and my son dutch they're going back and forth <laughs> then my brother-in-law kanye's a bully and they start talking about how if my sons are saying that if it wasn't for kanye interrupting that taylor swift thing taylor wouldn't be as big as she is because my, look at Noah, Noah my, our, my son, our resident Swift, he's freaking son, out back there. My <laughs> sons are kept just kept saying Kanye made Taylor famous. That's what they kept saying, right? And my sister's like, she's. I mean, it just got the adults got into it. It was so like bizarre, and well, they start googling. I'm like, well, you know, then I'm like, well, you know, Kanye's a billionaire, truth, you know. And he's got the clothing lines. He's got this. We start talking about the documentary, you know. And I was talking about how he manifested all this stuff and all the stuff he started saying. And then my sister's talking about the the uh, Taylor Swift documentary, how she was canceled. And I'm like, she was canceled. And they get into this whole thing about how she was canceled. I go, I don't, I don't think she was canceled. I said she might think she was canceled, but I don't remember us ne- going. We are not talking about Taylor Swift. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I remember she got a little bit of heat. She got some heat, yeah. but I don't think she but was canceled. canceled. And it gets into the. It just got so. Then anyway, I go to bed. I wake up this morning, and on our family group chat, it's just back and forth, back and forth. 200 messages. It's insane. Oh, my goodness. It's insane, man. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. But but then I'm like... Like part of me is like, who? What? What a valid argument when you think about the two massive superstars. Mm-hmm. Who? Who is the bigger superstar? Yeah. I is, guess what you... is the question? Who's the bigger superstar, or who's more successful? I don't know if there was one. Okay, because I, I feel like I, that would make a difference. I, I don't know if there is a. There was a question. It was just more of a, in a, a, a an emotion in the car. Right. But who is? But it, <laughs> it was so. Like, wow, things escalated quickly. Like, you got no criteria <laughs> on what your weight. Like who's who's whatever. Uh, like you got no criteria. To wait against if it's just album sales you probably have to go taylor swift kicks kanye's ass it was just making money in the free market well kanye rocked it so i don't well, know what you weigh it by what do you think she's at i don't know that's tough that's what that's, i mean it's really hard i know and then it's camp my son camp starts sending over audio clips or a little tiktoks of uh-huh. kanye taking songs that are like from the 70s and sampling them and stretching them out and putting them into his hit songs. You're like, wow. And then my sister jumping in going, oh, well, Taylor writes all her music. She doesn't sample anything. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Okay. You know, he's only 18. <laughs> Chill. You know, like she's coming up. She's like, <laughs> you know, and then it's like, wow. Well, okay. Well, Kanye is worth $6 billion. Step. I mean, it's just such a fascinating argument. Yeah. Just as a, just as a spectator. And, but then in my head, like I woke up this morning and I was just getting dressed to go to come in here and I'm just, it just consumed my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> it's spinning for me too, because Taylor's what, her catalog sold for what, like $80 million or $180 million to Scooter Braun? Mm-hmm. Nobody's offered to buy Kanye's music. Who cares? He's worth $6 billion. 
So she sold it for 180 million. He's six. That's nothing. But she got to no, she got nothing out of it either, right? He's when, still. He's I mean, worth if, six billion. If you look at the bottom line, they both have like entrepreneurships outside of music. Like mm-hmm. Taylor Swift has perfumes and merchandise. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so does Kanye. So it's almost like you have to decide what the measure of quote unquote success is before you even start the argument. Because otherwise, it's well, just it's like, like, you know, it's just you go inside who's the biggest fan of what, you know? That's what the problem is. It's like you need someone that's not a fan of either of them to kind of decide who the bigger one is. Because if, like, I'm more of a Kanye fan, so I know more about Kanye than I know about Taylor Swift. So I'm leaning more Kanye, but I also know everything Taylor Swift has done. Mm-hmm. So I can't necessarily say Kanye's bigger well, than her. Then you argue this, then my sister would be like, okay, well, he's a decade older than Taylor. Because it's like, well, but that's what I'm saying. You have to have criteria. I'm saying, saying, but (laughs) but it's not like this. It was a setup argument. It was an evolution (laughs) of a conversation that turned into this argument. And then my sister, well, Kanye's a decade older. Okay, so then how do you argue that? You we have this argument ten years from now, and then it just just got. And then, oh, and then my son Dutch, when we get home, (laughs) my son Dutch goes, well, it just got personal. I go, what do you mean it got personal? And Dutch goes, well, I was telling L, Kanye did this, this, this. He's got the Yeezys. He's got this, this. And then L goes, really? Well, you tore your ACL twice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, it got nasty. It got nasty. Let's stick to the topic of the argument here. <laughs> oh, no. I like that was his fault. <laughs> like, like, like Taylor took him out. <laughs> that affects his job. Judgment of success. <laughs> Taylor and Mer- Nancy Kerrigan Dutch. <laughs> anyway, so it's something else totally random. So you know how we talk about schwanding? Kyle came up with this word called schwanding, where it's show bonding, where we go out and do stuff as a show. Yeah. Okay. So something has <laughs> evolved yesterday, and my answer, one of my one of my solutions would be schwanding, and it's this. I have a cabin in northern Arizona, in Pine Top, Arizona. I've had it for at least 18 years. My wife tells me yesterday that our homeowner association notified us that we were in violation. We have eight trees that need to come down. Eight, eight. trees. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. She's like, well, so we got to hire someone. I go, where do you find someone to take down a tree? And and I thought, ah, did you just start Googling that? Tree people? I don't, I don't even know, right? <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll go on the air and I'll just see if anybody knows anyone in northern Arizona, in Pine Top, Sholo, Lakeside, whatever that can cut down these trees and i thought maybe we'll do show bonding we'll all go all of us everyone take a tree <laughs> <laughs> we'd be there for days Spend a weekend. We're, like, Wait a we're sawing yeah. back and forth Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> seven show members with all their own chainsaws what could possibly go wrong chainsaw? there? I, don't I, don't have a chainsaw. I was picturing one of those like old-fashioned logger saws yeah. where there's one person on each end of it <laughs> No, and I'm then just, what do we do with the tree? Like, once it falls down, how are we going to get out of there? And there's one, my wife goes, uh, there, I guess there's one tree that's by our house, that's c- close to the house, so we'd have to make sure it falls the other way. Oh, no. I don't know if how I'm responsible enough to do that. I, don't, I know. I don't, I don't know. I just, <laughs> We're not professionals.